What highly illegal thing took place at your high school? Two students planned and carried out a coordinated attack on one of the math teachers by waiting by the top of the stairs between periods, and when he passed by them to go down the steps, one of them pushed him from behind while the other put his leg out to trip him. The teacher fell down the steps and broke his neck and back and was paralyzed from the neck down. The kid's reasoning, because one of them was dropped from the basketball team because he was failing that teacher's math class. Both of them were 15 years old, so they didn't get jail time, they both got expelled and were sent to juvenile detention. The teacher sued the school district and got a settlement in the lower seven-digit range. Man, that's just duck and horrible. Our football coach took off with one of the girls in the high school and moved to Mexico and married her. He had a wife and kids. They then hired a brand new football coach who was 23 years old. Before the end of his first year, he was hooking up with an 18-year-old senior girl. They also took off and went somewhere. We went without a coach for a couple years. My golf coach got arrested in Kansas for driving with a spare tire full of cocaine. Idiot, you put air in tires. I interviewed to teach at a high school once. One of the questions from the school board was can you avoid sleeping with your students? Hashtag X200B, me, yes, yes I can. School board thinks I'm great, principal thinks I'm great. Superintendent of schools doesn't think I'm cut out for the job, gives me the runaround. Principal is trying to help me push through it and get hired but I finally give up and get a normal job elsewhere. Superintendent hires his nephew, wonder why he gave me the runaround? Who promptly has sex with a student and gets fired. I still see the principal occasionally he always apologizes I wanted to hire you. He's way too nice to have been stuck at that lousy school. Good to know there are still principals with principals. I had a middle school principal that knew every kid by name and would greet us in the morning off of the bus. He was awesome. The principal was ducking students. A few years after I graduated, some parents found out and took him to court. He hanged himself before he could be convicted. Edit, corrected the word from hung. My history teacher had sex with a 15-year-old girl, but she didn't admit it for at least a decade. He was a good teacher and I liked his class, but he's gonna rot in jail for the rest of his life. The middle school gym teacher who inappropriately touched lots of preteen girls, who promptly told on him, got the teensiest slap on the wrist and that was that. Over spring break one year, the entire hockey team and then the cheerleaders all went to rehab. The goalie was dealing coke to all of them. Sounds like a bad goalie letting them all score. Nice. My teacher was molesting my 14-year-old classmate for a while. He went to jail and is still there 20 years later because another past victim came forward. So that's pretty illegal. Pretty illegal just a smidge. Knew a guy that sold cocaine in class, and tried to offer a girl pot to sleep with him. There was also some public underage sex in one of the halls that lead to a girl starving herself until she miscarried. Earl pot to sleep with him. There was also some public underage sex in one of the halls that lead to a girl starving herself until she miscarried this week on Degrassi. Drama teacher slept with the hottest chicks in class and nothing ever happened to him. Murder. A kid in the grade ahead of me murdered his sister behind the high school. An acquaintance of mine helped him bury the body. Edit, wow, this blew up. So this guy was in my English class when I was a sophomore, he was a junior. He was a tennis star on the school team. Seemed real straight-laced. I didn't know his sister. It's rumored that he abused her and she was going to tell, but it's just rumor. What did happen is that they had an argument behind the high school and he hit her over the head with a flashlight and killed her. He and his friend, a guy I knew casually, buried her in a shallow grave outside of town. FYI, small town, central Oregon. I'd link to the case, but it's hard to find anything online. This happened in about 1987, pre-internet. Anyway, she was just missing for some time, many months, when hunters discovered the grave and shit went from there. Edit 2, if anyone can find the info online, that would be cool. I can't find anything. The guy's name is Brian Ford and this happened in Bend, Oregon in about 1987. A film crew lied about what kind of film they were making. Turns out it was porn. So my high school is the setting of the film The Cheerleaders. Pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah, it's pretty tame what do you want from me I live in Cupertino. I went to Pratt Institute in Brooklyn for a year and everyone was very proud of the fact that a scene in Debbie Does Dallas was filmed in the library. We had a softball coach sleep with his students. 
but a far more interesting story that didn't technically take place on school grounds. There was this kid who was constantly being harassed by bullies, they would even follow him after school and attack him. So there was this hardware store across the street and a lot of kids would hang out in the parking lot after school. The bullies chased the kid inside and cornered him in the garden section. They kept hitting and kicking him so the dude grabbed an axe from one of the shelves and just started swinging, all the bullies ended up in the hospital with various injuries. Security camera got the whole thing but I can't remember now if Gimli son of Blowen was charged or if it was ruled self-defense. Update, I followed up with my sister who actually knew the kids involved better than me, she was closer to their age. The news articles that came out at the time didn't really talk about the pattern of abuse that led to the axe kicking, but she did confirm that Gimli was sent to juvenile corrections for a while. She remembered when he got out and as far as she knew he was doing well. Edit, thank you for silver and gold. Edit too, so I thought I left things vague but apparently this incident was unique enough that people have found some of the news articles. There are more details about the subsequent legal action in those for interested parties. I've posted about this before, but some kids in our business club were so enterprising they started counterfeiting money. Which resulted in the Secret Service showing up to investigate. Edit, yes the Secret Service, not the FBI, investigates counterfeiting. It was actually why they were created in the first place. Between $250 and $500 in counterfeit $20 bills $250 in counterfeit $20 bills some sounds about right. They made 12 and a half of them. A half is how they got caught. One of the old teacher's aides got arrested for child porn and filming the elementary kid's bathroom. Elementary kids. Some people are so messed up man. I know right? And when you've interacted with the person it's just absolutely chilling. Had a guy selling heroin. After that there was a weekly police presence. Also, a kid bound a girl to a chair, gagged her and stuffed her in a cupboard in the woodworking shop. He claims it was to help her complete the sponsored silence she had been doing that day. Had a guy selling heroin. After that there was a weekly police presence. Alright also, and a kid bound a girl to a chair, gagged her and stuffed her in a cupboard in the woodworking shop. He claims it was to help her complete the sponsored silence she had been doing that day. What the duck? Yeah, he was a weird kid. I think he was suspended for a while but I definitely remember seeing him in the school the next year. Hess got kids now. Which is equal part concerning and surprising. I am totally surprised by the fact that your school didn't suspend the kid permanently. Me too, he was in a lot of special needs classes and rehabilitation at the school, so I wonder if that's why. This kid did also throw a Stanley knife at another student, it missed the kid, thankfully. The problem was he was kept in normal classes and as everyone knew he was weird, he was tormented constantly until he lost his shit. In hindsight, my school was pretty bad. There are a few other stories I have if Terry's any interest. Interest A teacher was caught having sex with an autistic student. I believe the student claimed to have loved her. Her dad was also a teacher at the same school and he left after the incident came out. Edit, teacher was female, student was male. This happened at my school too. There were four freshmen in the bathroom stall just vaping and a teacher came in so they freaked out and didn't want to get in trouble so they thought calling the cops on the teacher for harassment would get them out of trouble. They got expelled an hour after the cops arrived. 300 IQ Between them, yeah. We had a science teacher say if you don't put goggles on, I'm going to have to spray you in the eyes with Lysol, which was probably not illegal until the student tried to call her bluff. She wasn't bluffing. And that's how the legend was born. Carl. She didn't wear her safety goggles, now she doesn't need them. The cheerleaders got caught selling morphine. The football team got into a brawl with a rival school at a local pizza place over said morphine scandal. A huge fiasco over a kid putting baking soda and vinegar in a test tube and sealing it and taping it under a lunch table till it exploded. Edit, to clarify, the baking soda vinegar incident was completely separate from the morphine and brawl one. Sorry for the confusion. Did they put red food coloring in the volcano bomb though? <laughs>